Ah, yes. I wish I could tell Chandler everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Ah. Ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? Splendid! There is another device you will need. I've hidden it inside the Bugwatch Tower. Once you have it, I will tell you more. Ugh, one of those flying bug snacks has set off the tower's alarm system again. Although you seem to have avoided being trapped inside. Clever. All right, return to me for the next phase of the plan. Ah, chum, I have such a craving for quookies. Why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be quookies, so that I may taste my own teeth, you see. <laughs> Splendid! I no longer have to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. But now I hunger for charmallows. Can't ever have enough charmallows. <laughs> the charmallows give off an unusual signal. I believe they may be key to the Grumpinati surveillance system, though I'm not yet sure how. This signal should be safely contained. You got the radio working? Put some jams on! Uh, not now, Chandler. The radio is broken.
<laughs> With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Hmm. The sky seems clear of danger. I suppose it's now or never. Whoa. Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog, let's do this. In just a moment, Chandlo. You've been an invaluable ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. Bro, if I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grump out of you. Oh, what the grump? Here it comes! What expert hugging that is! You do that hug! Alright, let's get out of here! Race you back to town, Snorp Dog! Don't, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. D no, no, that's quite alright. Your loss! See you back in Wait. town, bro! Chandlo! Well met. Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. Of course I do, but at the same time, I don't want them finding me. Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted Bean. And I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. I was dragged here by my dearest friend Cha Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. Well, I, 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 I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together, together. He's never said we are, has he? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. I was too exposed. Floofty tried to wrap me up in their experiments, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinati's plot against me. Lizbert disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wits, and chat redacted. Blow and arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. <laughs> hey, this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island that came to me for help. 
an entrance to the underground locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you.